Hello gamers. So, two previous videos were some talking heads, and today we are going to actually do something <coughs> more interesting. So, Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distribution. Also, if you're maybe a little more interested in <laughs> In Linux, you are already using Linux, maybe. You've already heard about BetterFS, BTRFS. It's a file system which makes uh, making backups and restoring backups really easy. And we are going to install Ubuntu on BTRFS with disk encryption, which isn't uh, by default available in the installer so it is a little hmm, a little tricky would say i have a vm here with uh, ubuntu install already booted so let's try and install a few moments later okay so we have the installer here and let's go install ubuntu we'll select my keyboard and i hmm. actually want to use this vm later and maybe i will go with normal installation Let's get all the updates, I guess. And I don't know if it's even needed in the VM, but whatever, let's go. So the moment that is interesting for us here is this. So uh, installation type, but actually just you select what, how the disk will be partition so as you can see uh, the default installer installation type you now using whole disk offers only you can use zfs or you can use pretty much uh, ext4 with encryption i was testing this one it it didn't really work but i wasn't using actually the normal ubuntu iso so it might have been some other problem what we are going to do is something else so let's continue here and we have a empty drive <coughs> nothing here so of course if you had something <coughs> here earlier you should have backed up this before going there and now we will just create a new partition table i guess ubuntu just uh, detects what what type of boot is going on here if it's mbr then it will by default give you mbr here those partition table i guess but we are uh, we have eu EFI here so we're going with GPT and we need to create EFI partition which I'm not entirely sure how big it should be but I guess it will be enough probably much over enough but <clears throat> I believe I, I one, one time I had uh, uh, 256 megs and some installer was actually mm, complaining about it and it's too small so let's go with that and use as efi system partition and it's all we need to do here we don't take the mount point not anything so here is the more this a little confusing part let's say because ubuntu doesn't support 
pull this encryption. So we need to create a separate partition for boot. And I could actually create this as EXT, but since we are going with better FS, I will just do it everywhere. So mm. let's do this. It's probably a little big, but you know, better have, you know, some one or two gigs too much than uh, running out of a uh, face on boot partition while upgrading a kernel or something yeah <clears throat> it will be boot okay and here begins real fun so here we are using the rest and you know Logically you would think, okay, I need to get better FS and I don't know, tick something that I want to be encrypted. This is how the Calamaris installer works with pretty much any uh, distribution using, uh, allowing this encryption, which is probably the most of them. So we select physical volume for encryption here the password I mean passphrase or security key for the for the disk right <coughs> you might also want to enable recovery key so it is created and it is saved on the live system so you would need another USB drive USB key to copy it before Re rebooting, rebooting into new installed system. So, but you can just remember your passphrase, yeah. But maybe it's not uh, that bad idea to have this recovery key somewhere. Maybe I will show you. Okay, so you might also want to override the empty disk space for added security, I guess. But it is a, a blank uh, virtual disk, so no need to do that. Okay, let's go. And there's even more confusing part. We have this partition, right? But see, it's doing something. And Here's the actual partition, which will be, we need to set to root partition, but also here we click change and we can select any, I mean, maybe not actually any, but this bit of bet, better FS, <coughs> I guess XFS is also Okay, but we're going with better FS for reasons I explained, right? We want some features here. Also, Ubuntu by default, we see if we select the encryption uh, before, I mean, we select to erase whole drive and and uh, and and then encrypt it. Ubuntu creates as I did so boot partition but it also creates encrypted swap but I have no fucking idea how would I create encrypted swap partition here so I will show you how to create a swap file after we we installed it and I guess it's maybe even better solution because you know it's more flexible so you can create a bigger swap file or make it smaller if you don't need that much and uh, resizing partitions is not a good time usually I mean usually it's okay but more of a mm, pain 
Okay, so do we have everything? I guess yes. So we install now. We destroy our data. Okay, anyway, let's go. Yeah, now we. And yes, this this famous uh, and uh, safe and complicated password, I guess. Um, this is our setup we had to do, and now we are waiting. A few minutes later. Okay, so installation completed. But uh, I was talking about the recovery key that I will show you how it works, how to copy it somewhere. But apparently the installer failed to create it. There was some error message, so I won't show you. But I guess we can generate the key later. Well, or just you know, remember the password. Anyway, so let's restart. So we should be booting now, yes. The new system. And this is how it looks like to, you know, when you have the encryption. So you put in your password and here we go. And here we are. And here we are, the welcome screen. Don't want anything. We don't want this. We're not sending. We don't want location services. And we are done for now. So we have our fresh system let me check the display settings is it fine not really we want this fly keep changes and it's way better but also i would change it to the dark mode also i'm not really enjoying this orange stuff maybe blue or oh, it doesn't really matter Ubuntu always had this orange orange colors uh, this uh, purple also is not really something I Prefer and for the longest time the icons in default GNOME were just awful, awfully orange. Uh, I don't know what, but actually the uh, the wallpaper here is quite nice. But maybe I change it to something less purple maybe it's too bright now anyway that, that's not really important and I'm not to update now you can see we have desktop icons here for some reason it's still orange but I guess here is everything it looks nice. Okay, so we have our demon better FS. It's encrypted, so pretty nice already. But we want the backups because that's why we installed it on better FS. So 
go to the terminal course and yeah the purple background and something weird is happening here but because it's a VM anyway let's do sudo update I don't really sure if I need to run this before Oh, oh yeah. Putting my my password from the post. <laughs> and we want to install time shift. If I can type what the fuck I'm doing. Time shift and Google. So now let's see time shift to uh, input our password and here we are. So if we wouldn't be using BetterFS, we could use uh, our sync, which, as far as I know, just uh, copies the files. But I might be wrong, maybe I don't know shit, but we're using better FS anyway, so let's go next. And we want, we actually could also back up our uh, boot partition. Mm. Also as if it was empty. But it's clearly not. But anyway, we're using this one. We want daily. Let's leave it maybe at that. Or I actually use uh, three. So the Three daily snapshots are kept, are not are not deleted. So we won't be having too much of of them. Now I wonder if I shouldn't uh, if I shouldn't have given more space to this machine, but we'll find out. So finish. And here we are, it's active. And now if you want to add a mm, pop file, there is some tricky stuff. Because uh, the swap files don't really work on better FS. So they need some additional setup to, to actually work. But if you would just create a pop file on BetterFS, time shift wouldn't work. Let me tell you. But I think I've messed up and the disk is too small here. Let's see. Oh boy, we only have 4 gigs free. So I, I guess I will create some really small swap file just to show you. So let's go to root directory and what I did first when I was setting up my system actually I created a folder, I set some special ptrfs attribute on the folder and created the file and swap worked fine at time shift so the backups 
wouldn't work then because on because we have here uh, two sub modules so one sub module is the actually the the root file system and the other one is home as you can see actually normally we wouldn't have separate uh, mount point for home if it was on the same drive right but we have it because it's separate sub volume so uh, the thing is with better fs i probably would say something really stupid because i don't really i don't really know exactly what is happening there but this file system is copy on write problem is that it doesn't really like big files that are modified constantly which would be with swap file so we can disable this copy on write feature to have this swap file or or, or, or whatever but if we do this then the snapshot tool time shift the snapshot feature relies on the copy on write so it wouldn't be able to make a snapshot of the sub volume that uh, includes such uh, file so what we need to do i will just become root So, what we need to do is to better pass if I'm right sub volume create what? We created a sub volume which is actually a directory here as you can see swap now we will use this i guess it's change attribute chapter plus c and swap and this way we actually change that this sub volume doesn't have the copy on right but since it's separate sub volume and we are only snapshotting the root sub volume so no not also not home directory so we're also not snapshotting the swap so we can change here and it's fine now let's create the swap file <coughs> uh, okay let's do it like this Oh, I'm not sure if I haven't messed up already. We'll see because I guess I've done it other way. Do this like that. We need to change the um, permissions. And make it into swap file but I just did it okay I did it wrong apparently <laughs> so now we have it and let's try if it works Let's go to H top. Yeah, there's no H top. Now there is H. So we have swap. But problem is I'm not sure if I could actually do this. Change this attribute on the sub module itself, or I should have made a directory inside it. Maybe it will work. Let's try to 
create manually a snapshot. And it worked. So, I guess I didn't need to uh, make it like I made it on my system. But anyway, so we would also want, let's say, we really need this swap. So we want it to be mounted automatically. So I will swap off this just to show you something. So now I will edit the first tab. And what we will do here is swap file mount point none file system is swap hmm. options default zero and zero and let's see we decided the swaps so there's zero so no swap now we'll do swap on dash a so it should activate all swap so if we done everything right there it is i guess we succeeded So, this is how you make Ubuntu with better FS, with time shift, with disk encryption, and with swap in file. So, that will be all for today's video. I hope it may be useful for you. And I actually want to make quite a few videos like that with Ubuntu because. No, it's most popular, I guess, and it's most easy to install, to use for new users. And I originally wanted to talk about Slackware, showing some Slackware installation. And I realized that uh, maybe it's not the best first uh, Linux tutorial to put on a channel. So I decided to make this. So. It's like two in one because it's better FS with uh, with the time shift, which very useful. Something goes wrong, but Ubuntu is quite stable, so it shouldn't really be the case. But you never know. And also the disk encryption with better FS because Ubuntu by default doesn't port encryption other than on ext4 which doesn't give us snapshots feature and with zfs which i don't really test it so i cannot tell if it really works and what it offers but it doesn't offer better fs which is the big hype now and for a reason i must say because i've started using better fs pretty much everywhere also snapshots interesting because they don't really take much space because they like grow when more changes are on the system so it isn't like uh, you know copying all your all your system files which would be around i guess maybe 10 gigabytes you have a lot of stuff installed because you don't uh, back up home so you most of the files you have in home, so it isn't backed up by by uh, time shift unless you want it to. But anyway, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.